Hi everyone, it's Jill again. This is video number two. Um, I just wanted to thank everyone, first of all, for all their nice, encouraging words. And it seems like everyone liked the first video. So moving on to my night routine. So um, this is for men and women. It's not just for women. So if you have husbands that are interested in uh, great skincare. This is just a suggestion that's going to help with anti-aging or if you have problem um, skin or sensitive skin or if you have dark spots you want to get rid of. Um, all that. This is not just for the ladies. This is also for your guys too. So you can also share it with them. So first, what I'm going to do, I do have a little bit of um, makeup on that tinted um, sunscreen that I had before, but this is my um, products that I'm using mostly now. Um, I do switch it up a lot, but I just wanted to share some of my favorite products that um, I think that you'll like and they're really easy to use. So at night, the first thing I want to do is take off my makeup. So I don't have a lot of makeup now on, so there's a lot of different options for that, but usually I go to work and I look like a drag queen. And I'm not even kidding about how much makeup that I wear because I'll see people that I know somewhere else that know me from work and I'll say hi and they'll be like, hi. And I could tell they had no idea who I am um, because I have to wear so much makeup. So anyway, so this is going to be makeup remover. Um, and if you just even have a little sunscreen on, that works for that too. So I am loving the Clinique. Um, and it's officially called Take the Day Off Makeup Balm. And uh, these are really popular now. Um, they are great for any skin type, but the reason why I like it is because not only does it melt everything away, it also leaves your face feeling so soft. So it looks like this. So it's really fluffy and white. And of course, I'm not a normal makeup taker offer person. So I am um, I don't just use a regular washcloth. Um, this is wet right now, but this is actually called um, the Makeup Eraser. So I've been using this for a few years now, this brand, and it is amazing. So the whole concept of this thing is that you can just wet this and actually use it by itself. Like you don't need any cleanser, nothing. So it has um, millions of these little hair-like fibers on it, and um, the short side uses to take the makeup off, and the longer side you use for exfoliation, and it's really super soft. Then all you do is, I use mine a few times, and I throw it in, let it dry out, then I throw it in the washer, and it'll last three to five years. <sighs> So it's supposed to help with not using wipes because wipes aren't, most of them are not biodegradable and um, save on cleanser. So it does work and it does take everything off. But since I'm such a freak and about getting my makeup off and I have to wear so much makeup, I use it wet with any sort of cleanser that I'm using. But these are amazing. The makeup eraser. And they come in all different colors. I got black, but they, the original one comes in pink. Um, but I'll have all that in the description too. So I just take a little bit of the balm like this and put it on all over. Ooh, it feels so good. And takes off eye makeup remover, or sorry, um, mascara, like even this. They don't have very much. But if this was a normal day, I'd have like black all the way down here looking super scary. So then um, I use either side. I don't know, there's not, it's not like a rough exfoliation or anything, um, but these things are so wonderful. It's crazy. And then you could just throw it in the washer and it takes everything off. Um, the only thing I noticed about it when I first started using it though, is that I felt uh, really dry afterwards, which I hate feeling dry. So um, but now using the take the day off balm, it doesn't feel as dry. So, um, and since I do wear a lot of makeup, I like to, if you hear my dog barking, he's such a freak show. He hates skateboards and razors. And now the kids are out of school and there are a million of them, which I never noticed before in our neighborhood. So you'll probably hear him barking. 
Okay, so for my eyes, I like to be gentle on my eyelashes, and we'll go into that a little bit later, but I like to use um, Clarins Gentle Eye Makeup Remover, and you just use a little cotton round and put it on, and this will take off anything um, that you have residual left on your eye. Did I say that right? Residual. Okay, so that all around your eye. It's not one of those foamy ones. Um, or the ones that have oil in it, so it's really gentle. Um, sometimes those burn my eyes a little bit. Okay, so the next, I have a really special product that I love by Arcana again. It's called Celestial, Celestial, I don't know why I can't say that word correctly, um, Activating Essence. So um, this you can use as a toner, which I'm going to use it as. You can use it as a makeup setting spray, and you can use it as a refresher. Um, but this helps with tightening pores and skin. It's really refreshing. This is um, what we talked about before is a clean brand. So um, really good for the skin and to even touch up during the day if you feel like you want to um, kind of just refresh your makeup or if you're feeling like your skin feels a little dull. So um, you definitely want to have clean hands because I'm going to put it on with clean hands. So um, I something happened last week where I noticed like I'm such a clean hand person. I'm always washing my hands and using hand sanitizer and especially just coming from, you know, working in a retail environment where you have to t touch people's faces all the time. But I was... Um, making this three bean salad and I like everything super spicy. So I'm cutting up a jalapeno and putting that in there. And then I had all this extra jalapeno. I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna put extra jalapeno on my salad or whatever, my little three bean salad. So I put it on there and I was like, oh, and I'm going to sit down in front of the TV, pet my dog and everything. And I'm like, take one bite and I'm like, whew, that is hot and my eyes start watering. So I simultaneously, rub my eyes and then my nose is running so I wipe my nose all of a sudden my whole face is on fire like my eyes are watering and I was like oh there's been a horrible accident and my nose is burning on the inside so I get up and I run to the bathroom and I run the water and I start like putting all her face I'm like I didn't wash my hands before that, so I'm just smearing the jalapeno juice all over my face. And my face is like bright red and on fire. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm running upstairs to get my cleanser to take it all off. And I finally get it off and my face isn't on fire anymore. And then my dog had ran upstairs and I looked down at him and he's like this. So I had touched his eye too when I sat down. So he had a jalapeno juice in his eye. So I'm taking a wipe and like rubbing the jalapeno juice out of his eye. So this goes to show you, you need to really pay attention to washing your hands and especially after cutting up jalapenos. Anyway, so moving on to Celestial, El Celestial um, from Arcana. Um, you take some of this. You can just spray it on your face. I like putting it on my clean non-jalapeno hands and just pressing it on. Oh, it feels so good. Um, so it's really, really refreshing. Um, and with this, I was going to tell you. Oh, I know why. Because it has peptides and green tea in it too. So that helps a lot with reactive skin. Um to calm it down also. I should have used that when I did the jalapeno thing. Anyway, okay, so you put that on, let it dry down a little bit, and then after that, we move on to our eye cream. So I've been using the Biosense um, Squalene and Peptide Eye Cream. And this is a smaller size too. It comes in a, um, a regular size. So squalenes and peptides. So you'll hear me say peptides. I don't really say squalene very much, um, but peptides and um, amino acids, hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid, um, that's gonna help with plumping the skin. And put a little bit of this on, all over. So you're pressing it on. I like to kind of do this motion, kind of presses it in to get rid of any sort of puffiness too. Um, but amino acids actually help with healing the skin and peptides help with wrinkles. So whenever you see something with a peptide in it, that's a good thing. Um, so I put that on and let that dry down a little bit. And then I'm going to show you the 
serum that I'm digging now called um, the Buffet from The Ordinary. So The Ordinary is an amazing line that has so much technology in their products. It's incredible and they are so affordable. And um, so I highly recommend if you're recommending um, skincare to maybe someone just starting out in skincare and has sticker shock sometimes, um, it, they're really effective products. So The Buffet has those peptides in it and um, it, comes with like a little dropper thing here. So you put a little bit of that on and it's a clear liquid and just same thing as far as like pressing it on. Um, but this particular one, it's called the buffet because it has um, tons of different, like it, well, the ingredients in it helps with every sign of aging that you have. So if you're concerned about fine lines, wrinkles, if you're concerned about dark spots, um, plumping, all that. It's um, very effective at doing that. And like I said, a very good price too. Um, then after that, I like to use for my nighttime moisturizer, which actually you can use this one in the day too. It's from Beauty Bio, another line you may not have heard of. It's a clean brand. Um, and this is called Zen Gel, Zen Bubble Gel Cream. So it comes like this and you just press out the amount that you want. So Beauty Bio um, was started by um, the daughter of the dermatologist that came up with microneedling. And if you don't know what microneedling is, I think I'm gonna do it in my next video, but it um, puts micro channels into your skin so your um, skincare is more effective as being absorbed. Um, but it's a great line. They have those um, microneedling devices and I do have one at work. I don't I have a generic one here that I was going to show you. They have um all kinds of different things that you can use but their skincare is so awesome. And this one has marine biomarine extracts um and that helps with calming the skin. So this is a calming um moisturizer. Helps with redness, um but it also helps with wrinkling and it also helps with enlarged pores. It helps with redness and acne. It kind of does everything. Um, so it's a really cool brand because it was started by a dermatologist too and considered um, clinical and, cl and clean. So um, after that, I like to do a separate neck cream. I know and everyone's like, why do I need a new neck cream, another neck cream, when I can just use my face cream? And you can do that, and I do that too. I go down on my neck. Um, the difference in uh, neck creams and face creams is that they're a little bit more substantial. You can feel them a little bit more, and they will have collagen in them, more collagen, because on your neck, it's um, you don't really have any oil glands, and um, so you'll get vertical and horizontal lines. Awesome. Um, and this will help with smoothing those, and you can actually feel it a little bit more. So this is um, one that is um, also new. It's by Clarins. One of my very favorite brands. The light is so bright today. I could tell I just really don't know what I'm doing. Um, and this is the Extra Firming Neck Cream. Um, so you just put like a dime size amount and they have a whole thing, like how you put it on with Clarins. And they're the ones that like to press and lift. So you always want to go up with everything. Why go down when we're trying to get nothing to go down? We want everything to go up. So, um, and it smells awesome too. So Clarins is also um, powered by plants. Um, they have a lot of really organic and um, plant-based things, but they also have a lot of science. They've been around forever. Um, so check that out. I love that neck cream. There's a lot of other really good ones too, but I really like that. And then my last thing for my face, I know you guys are like, oh, MG, another thing. I like using oil on my face um, just because I am drier and I feel like this seals it in a little bit more. And one that I'm using now that I really like is Sephora. It's their brand and you could also use this jojoba oil. You can also use this in your hair, in your nails, your body, and your face. So it kind of does everything. And if you're oilier, you may not like the feel of oil, um, but the oils are so refined now that they're not going to feel, you know, like greasy for very long. It'll absorb quick, even though I like looking greasy, like I've been hit by a sandwich, but I like that look. I don't know. Um, but it smells good. It comes in a really a bigger size because I have used so many oils and I love so many, but they are expensive. 
Um, but this is nice because it will last a long time and it has multi-uses too. Okay, that's what I use for my face for night. And I do switch it up and I do, you know, like the micro needing, needling, I do some electrocurrent therapy. I also do scrubs and mask and I'll do that in another, um, another video, I think. So um, a couple of extra things that I do, these are just bonus extra points, is I like to use a lash serum. This one's called Lavish Lash. And um, I just got this on Amazon because um, it had really high ratings, but you can also use it in your brows too. So um, you only want to use this at night. You don't want it like when you're walking around and like going in your eye and everything like that. So um, it comes with this little tiny brush like this. And let me grab my mirror, my Too Faced mirror. And you just want to do a really thin line right across the top of your lash. And you can do it on your bottom lash too. I haven't tried that. Um, but I've noticed it's really, especially like right in the middle of my lashes, I get these really big ones. So, I mean, I don't know if that looks weird, but it works. Um, and then I know a lot of people have problems with their brows growing back. Me too. Um, I gave up and just got mine microneedled. So, um, but it, it has, has really high ratings on Amazon. And it's also another um, cost-effective brand too. And then also, I like to exfoliate my lips. So um, this one's also by Sephora. It is the Honey Lip Scrub. And the reason why I like this is because it's so convenient. It comes in a tube. I'm all about the DIY. I read those all the time about the sugar scrubs, blah, blah, whatever. And I know I won't do that. Or if I do do it, I'll forget about it. So this just makes it easy because I um, keep it by my lip balm. And it has whew, some good exfoliation in there and um you don't need to do it every night or every day but oh boy it's a good exfoliator so then i just take um my handy dandy here and wipe it off and then you always want to use a lip balm or some sort of moisturizer afterwards so um i highly recommend the Too faced peach lip balm it has 100 percent peach oil in it so cute and um you can use this all day long i keep it by my bed um just to remember to put it on because a lot of those lip balms they're made to make your lips drier so you just keep using them over and over again this one actually is not greasy and you can wear it underneath lipstick um too without having your lipstick um go crazy on your face and then one final thing i know so many the caudalie hand cream Paris. It's French. And I keep this by my bed. So this is for hair and, or hair, oh my gosh. This is for nails and hands. And it has um, shea butter and avocado cream in it. So it's really, really nourishing. And um, Caudalie is a great brand for skincare and everything. And a lot of the things are kind of pricey. And this hand cream actually isn't that much. I can't remember how much it was, but it was, I think it was under $20. Um, and I've had it for a while. So um, anyway, I know that may seem like a lot, but once you get your routine down, um, those are kind of just the basics for anti-aging skincare. And I try to keep this video shorter than the last one, but that obviously didn't work out. Maybe I, sh I probably should have cut out the jalapeno story. But um, I just wanted you to know how important it was to wash your hands. So everybody stay safe. And um, I will be back with another video um, hopefully next week. And if you have any suggestions or comments, please let me know. And I can always send product notes out to you too, but I will try to remember because I forgot to do it in one of them um, to um, put all the products in. And um, if you can subscribe to my YouTube and share it with your friends. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you soon.